Hi everyone, it's Nat. Hope you're all doing good. Okay, so I'm working on my daughter's birdie journal. So today I thought I'd just do some simple as usual collaged uh, journaling cards or tucks. Now, um, in magazines and um, the mail, I always get these like cards. So they're a great size to use for that sort of thing. So I thought I'd use these today, um, just a couple of them, and make a few bird themed bits and pieces for her. So I'll use those two, I reckon. Now, I did start on this one before and then realised I had forgotten something so I had to stop the video. So that's why that one's partially done. So we'll get on with that. I'm just collaging it. She likes bright colours and stuff so it's not going to be a vintage journal at all. Um, so I'm just doing some sort of whitish papers. So I've got a bit of music paper here and this, this planetary stuff or something quite interesting so I thought I'll whack these on there and there probably and then I'm just looking for some more to put in and I have these scraps that one's with that rainbow lorikeet I'll just rip around that one a bit a little bit up the top there um, what have we got here something that's a bit different got the index for the bird book so I'm using mostly bird themed pages as well as just some other random bits we'll rip a bit out of that be all right so we will do this bit first so yes I have showed the cover for this one in a previous video although it's not embellished yet so I'm just working on getting the pages together now which takes me forever Yes, I'm having a lot of fun with it, which is the main thing. Now it looks like we want to do this bit next. Make sure this is still going to, oh yeah, that will fit fine. So I did a video last night on the latest uh, signature that I'm working on for a swap. And I love the way it turned out, but I can't show you guys until um, the person has received it, of course. So I've got that one to wait for. Thought it was about time I got on and made a whole heap of stuff uh, since I've been showing a lot of haul videos lately. I 
be pretty cold this morning. Um, the sun's been out though, but usually the sun's out for about an hour and then it gets all dark and gloomy and wet. So um, it'll be another day to keep the heater going and do some stuff to warm myself up afterwards. There's plenty of cleaning that needs to be done. I keep putting it off. It's a lot more fun doing this, obviously. All right, so that's not so bad. I'm gonna put stuff on top, so. All right, now I have cut out of books as usual. I grabbed this budgerigar book. Love budgies, so does my daughter. And as I said, this um, journal's going to be named after the last budgie that we had. It was her budgie called Sora. Um, so yes, I've been fussy cutting some gorgeous Budgie pictures, just love them. And baby, so cute. So, oh, he looks pretty good on there. Just leave it as one. And then I've cut, I was looking for little grasses. If I kept looking more, I probably could have found some, but I have these toys, which will remind my daughter of her bird which is a bit bittersweet, but, and this millet. So, I actually quite like the millet with that one. And I quite like the ladder too. It's gonna to be a hard decision. And then we've got the little mirror. I think I'll leave the mirror out. I think I'll do the millet with him. Let me just see how it's gonna look with that one. Actually, I'll leave the millet for him. Do the ladder for this one. And then I do have, I have a budgerigar word. And I also just typed this out, um, gorgeous. Because that's probably the word that the bird would say the most. And I wonder why, if you watch my haul videos, you will hear me saying that word quite a bit, so got a funny feeling that it's my fault. Quite like it down there too. All right, now the other thing I was thinking is I could do some stamping. I do have these stamps, but I don't know if I have my stamp block because I'm good like that. Although there would be some plastic something here or there. Could even use this, so. What have we got close by? No, we'll have a look in a minute. I'm just not sure whether I should or not. I think we'll do brighter ink for him. What I can do is some stamping bit after anyway, because I'm not sure yet. I also do have some coloured stuff which I could put a bit on somewhere. But then again, I'm not so sure because I am trying to keep this one a bit plainer. Thinking, thinking. Let's just rip a little bit and see anyway. That won't hurt. I think I was gifted this. It's a bit glossy. Rips all right though. It is quite nice. a few little touches. So I quite like that. Now do we ink those bits? I think not. All right, so let's stick this down. Just adds that little bit of color. Now I was going to stamp some um, little plant leaves and that, but I actually think this looks better also solves the problem of me not forgetting my stamp blocks. I've had to move back out to the kitchen to film because the craft room was good but a lot more shadow. You notice the shadow more because it was a white desk. It's easier to adjust the lighting and um, I've got more room out here because I can just use the whole kitchen table whereas my craft desks are full of stuff as we know. down there. 
too good. Now, we're definitely going to ink the word. And I think we'll distress the budgie in the ladder. Just with the walnut stain a little bit. Take some of that whiteness away because I did leave a margin when I cut them out. Because usually I fussy cut with my craft knife, but I've been using my sewing scissors lately and getting used to doing that while I sit and watch TV, which is good. Um, but yes, yeah, best to leave a margin with those. Been watching a lot of videos lately, and there seems to be, you know, a lot of problem with um, people getting negative comments and. Um, dislikes and that lately which is a bit sad because it's such a wonderful community um yeah i know i was watching someone last night who um, had negative comments about her collaging because it was like copying other people or something but so i thought in lieu of that i would do some collaging because we all collage and you know we do our own thing so it's a bit ridiculous really um yeah I know I've been getting uh, dislikes, just one usually on um, my haul videos, which is fine. I mean, I, I don't let it bother me because I have like the best subbies. Thank you very much, guys. Um, so the positives definitely outweigh the negatives and that. But, you know, you wonder why they bother if they don't like it. They don't have to watch it. But, you know, some people, I suppose, haven't got much else to do. I mean, if there's a good reason for the dislikes, then you sort of wish that they'd write it in a positive way so you could actually do something to fix it so that they'd enjoy your videos more. But can't keep everyone happy, I suppose. But yes, this um, videoing isn't as easy as what, you know... I'd assume, I suppose, when I used to watch people, it takes a fair bit of planning and you know, things are always going wrong, like me forgetting my stamp blocks and stuff. So, we're not perfect. I'm definitely not perfect. Alright, now I'm going to use some blue ink, I reckon, around... I store my little pads for the top of these in the bottom. They fit perfectly, which is really cool. Though everyone probably knows that, but just in case you knew and you don't. Now just give this a light ink. I have been grabbing stuff in the next day or two. I shall announce my giveaway for my hundred subbies. Better late than never. That's quite sweet actually. I like that colour. Though I might go over the top a bit too, because it is very white. It's a bit better. There. Okay, now. I'm going to stick that there, then we want him about there. Yes, I love the community that we have um, with the junk journaling. I'm forever learning every day off of everyone that posts on the um, Facebook sites and that. And we're also kind and giving. You know, occasionally people post up that they want to do a swap of this and we all swap or um, someone will be doing a certain themed journal and everyone jumps in to help them and... not used to you know such nice mobs of people so that looks really cute all right now I'm going to underdo this, I underdo everything because I always think if I, you know, have a great idea I can add to it afterwards because I don't like doing too much and then regretting it, so.
Yes, I think my daughter will get a bit of a giggle out of me putting the word gorgeous on you. Because <laughs> yes, the bird would never shut up about us being gorgeous. That's very sweet though. Now, we will ink around the edge of it. A beautiful blue colour that matches his little chest. like the addition of that paper as well okay now the back um, in case you want to journal on it I thought I have this that came out of a book that I've got that has these different colored pages oh, put it the right way up but it shows through there so I'm thinking of just doing some white paper on and then putting this on so I might just Stick this page to the paper first. It doesn't matter if it's not straight because I'm going to cut a fair bit of it off. So. bulk of the page here. Now we can figure out where we want right. nice to have it sort of maybe something like that. And you'll be able to see the pictures. this edge down and then I can stick that on Thinking which way I want it and which way it would look right when I flip it but it doesn't matter do it. I could spend all day here thinking about stuff and never doing anything. Got the wrong glue then too. through that as much so that's good just makes it a bit thicker as well trim that down
just on this corner. So it's pretty cute. It's a good start. I think she'll love that. And then she can write on the back. I might just ink around the edges of this tie, especially this side. Oops, <laughs> you can tell it's the morning again, fumble fingers. I was doing this in my video yesterday. Dropping everything, knocking my glue over, I'm good at doing that. That looks a bit better. one more of those for her. So we will collage this side. Now we'll start with, I thought I had a bit, oh now there's the word that we wanted. Probably put budgerigar on this one. Just double checking that there's nothing I specifically wanted. Well yeah there's a bit about budgies there. different we could use some more of this right. rip out bit that says cockatiel she loves cockatiels we used to have one of those as well all right so something like that might just take the edge off of this one too all right get that stuck down the right glue. Start with this one. So yes, in the last haul I got the three wedding dresses so I've commissioned my mum to um, break down one of them for me. They'll be a lot easier to store that way because I've managed to fit two in my cupboard but they're so buffy. I told my daughter if she ever gets married she'll be right. Um, yeah. Top. 
this on top of that one. So we'll do that one next. down a little bit because it's sticking up. Alright then that was the music page. Must start getting the tea dyeing going. Mum's been doing you know a lot of random pages for me which has been great but I want to try out all these different colours and different teas and um, I've been buying the crepe paper as well so I've got heaps of um, lace and uh, fabric as well as paper and envelopes, all sorts that I really need to get done. That's almost covering it enough there. I don't know if we'll need that bit. But I do like it so it's going on. from that got a lot of happy mails to pack today in one of the Facebook Facebook groups that I'm in we do our wishes where um, we grant other people's wishes and then get to make our own and it's such a wonderful way of clearing out some of the excess stock that you have um, and helping someone else in doing so and also acquiring things that you're finding it difficult to find so that's heaps of fun so yes I have to go through all my stuff today and get my wishes ready for everyone also want to do a pack for my mum of some pictures from book pages Regards that we don't want to stick on that one, and then I think we will use this one. Something like that. And then we're thinking about the millet fam, which I quite like. All right. As I said, it's a bit of a different journal. This one. So, oh, now, do we want some of this? Probably. So, again, rip. Go down there again. I'm thinking I might like some under him, but. strip down the bottom. I don't mind something like that. And whether we put a little bit I'm going to 
put this down first. Sticky fingers. And I think we'll put this one down. So yes, it's going to be mainly budgies and parrots in um, this one. And I think I have to find a macaw too. She loves macaws. So it's going to be quite colourful. Mainly blue. Right now, I'm gonna cut the word down a little bit. And we will ink around our bird and our millet. Budgie on. Oops, it's probably meant to put the if I just lift that up a bit more. Yeah, because we might put that there. That's fine. It will work. Put our millet down. word I think we're going to use the dark blue distress ink just take that pad off and just put it in there grab this one Well, we've got it out, we'll go around the edge of our card. Oh no, we won't, because we must trim. So I'll stick this on, and then we'll trim, and then we'll go around the edge. Two things in the right order might help. I'm a bit terrified my battery's going to run out. <laughs> it gets like that. Must, must time how long it takes for the batteries to run out one day. Now we want to slip this under his head. I don't know if I can still get it there. Let's see doesn't matter too much if we can't as long as I can fit the word on that's oh, going a little bit I reckon that will be okay because we can just trim that last little bit off there. all right give it a trim just got to trim this bit
at the top. Now I'm not going to put a uh, back on this at the moment because I think I might stick it down as a tuck spot. Um, if I do decide to use it as a journal card I can always uh, stick it back onto it later. Now I'll just bring the ink in a bit, making a bit of a mess here. That's alright. Just grunge it up a bit more. There we go. So we have these two. They're going to be beautiful additions to my daughter's journal. Heaps of fun to make. Something a little different from the usual vintage style. Um, hope everyone has a great day. Take care. See you later.